Hello everyone, welcome back to another awesome day, day 62 of the 100 days of hell with Python Algo Trading. Today, we'll be starting with the first machine learning algorithm that is linear regression. In this, first we will try to understand that is what is linear regression and how it can be applied on the real life problems. Then, we will try to understand this with the help of an example and then we will understand the complete derivation of the linear regression. So without a further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's understand what is linear regression. So when we try to find the relation between two or more variables, it can be anything. Let's say we try to understand the sales of ice cream. So let's say if the temperature is increasing, then the sales of ice cream will be also increased. So here the dependent variable is the sale of ice cream and the independent variable is the temperature. Right. So we will try to understand that what is the relation between the increase in temperature and the number of ice creams sold in that particular time frame. It can be also applied in the stock market price ranges. So let's say we try to understand the uh, increase or decrease in the price of Bitcoin. So the change in price is the dependent variable. And now when we talk about the independent variable, it can be anything. So it can be the market sentiment, it can be any positive news, it can be any negative news or let's say if any country is banning the Bitcoin or they are allowing the Bitcoin. So there can be multiple reasons behind that. So when we try to find the relation between two or more variables, that is known as the linear regression. Right. So let's move to the screen and let me show you how it works. So when we talk about the linear regression, we know that it is the part of the supervised machine learning right in that we have linear regression and also in this we have multiple parts which are like a uh, simple linear regression then we have multiple linear regression then we have polynomial linear regression and we also have logistic regression which we will understand later so let me write it here logistics regression so first of all let's understand what is simple linear regression so in this when we try to find the relation between two variables only two variables one is a dependent variable which can be like in the change in stock prices and one is independent variable so it can be uh, let's say index it can be also uh, rsi uh, it can be standard deviation it can be uh, moving average so it can be anything right so let me write it uh, that when we talk about only uh, two variables for multiple it is more than two variables so in output we have one uh, dependent variable which is the change in stock prices and in input we have multiple independent variables so it can be the index then the market sentiment it can be rsi it can be moving average it can be standard deviation right so two or more and when we talk about the polynomial regression so actually it is not lr you can just write polynomial regression right because when the relation of two variables is not linear then we can use the polynomial regression we will understand all of these uh, later on in detail so let's first move to the simple linear regression so let's say we have two variables so i will just draw it here so it is the closing price and here in the input it can be the index right or it can be anything like rsi uh, moving average or the market sentiments but for now for the simplicity i am taking the index so let's say on the first day the price of bitcoin is uh, 60k on second it was 61 on third day it was 55k on fourth it is 58k and on the fifth day it is 60k again so here first understand some terms so when we talk about the variables in the simple linear regression uh, we have two one is uh, input which is also known as the independent variable and one we have is the output and which is also known as the uh, dependent variable right so i can write it here as independent variable or you can also say output here it is sorry it is dependent and it is independent right 
or it is also input so first of all when you work with these kind of algorithms you have to visualize the things so what you will do you will just draw a chart a scatter plot of that so what you will do let's say this is first day first second third fourth and fifth so on first we have okay and let me write it here 50 55 60 and 65 so on the first day we have is 60 so let me draw it here 60 second we have 61 on second day we have 61 on third day we have 55 on third day we have 55 on fourth day we have 58 so it is somewhere around here and on fifth day we have 60 so it is somewhere around here so for simple linear regression what you will do you will draw a line here right so i'll draw a line this one and this is known as the best fit line best fit line why because if you draw a line let's say here then it will be more far from these points, right? These are the original inputs, right? And if you draw a line here, it will also be very far. So what we do, we draw a line, which is at the minimum distance from all the points. It should be best for all the points, right? So that's why we consider this line. And let me remove these. Okay, now what we do, we know that the equation of line is y equals to mx plus b, right? And here we know that this m is the slope, right? Slope means rise over n. I know this is very basic, but let me uh, again uh, repeat this. Rise over n means this slope, right? And then this x is the independent variable, right? This one. Then this b is the intercept. So what is intercept? So when we input x equals to 0, y becomes b, right? And let's say it is this value on the y when x equals to 0, it is known as the intercept. So I can just write it here. x is the independent variable, then y is the dependent variable, and this b is the intercept, and this m is the slope. So this was basically the equation of line but when we talk about the linear regression it is written as beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus epsilon okay let's move to the official definition of the uh, linear regression so i have here i'll share it with you guys on the github so here you can see that it says linear regression is a statistical method used to model the Relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. The goal is to predict the dependent variable based on the independent variables by fitting a linear equation to observed data. In its simplest form, it models the relationship between two variables by fitting a straight line, right? Which we did here in this. Like this x is the input we already have, and this y is the price which we want to predict. What we did, we drew a straight line here. So based on these data, we want to predict the future prices. Now let me show you a few more things. This distance is known as the error or the residual. Let me write it here. Error or residual. And when we add all these, it should be equal to zero. We will understand this shortly. Don't worry about this. But for now, just keep in mind that this distance is known as the error or the residual because these are the original points that input we have and this is the line which we have predicted right so what would be the ideal situation that when this line is overlapping exactly on these points but that is not possible here so this was the original and this is the predicted value so that's why this distance is known as the error okay now let me show you an example with the code that how does this work 
and then we will try to understand that how these values are coming right so we will try to uh, derivate the mathematical formula after that so let's move to the screen and let me show you the example okay so here in the first step what we did we fetch the data from the yahoo finance for the period of 500 days uh, for the btc usd so you can see here and then we use a drop and n values so let me run this and let's see btc data here so this is the data we have fetched which includes uh, OHLC, V, and the adjusted close price, right? Now, in the second step, what we did, we defined the independent variable, that is a day index, and the dependent variable, that is the close price. So from this fetch data, we are using this close price, and then for the independent variable, we are using the index. So let me show you what is this. Uh, let me print the X, which is the index, right? The date and the index right with the help of the np.a range uh, length btc data we can create this and then for the y we have used the uh, close price right which is the from 16th of april 23 to 27th of august 24. so for the third step we are training the linear regression model so in which we have to call the class linear regression in that we have a method which is uh, fit so in that we are passing the values of x and y x is the independent variable that is the input and y is the dependent variable that is the output and that is the close price right then okay so after training the model now we can find the price which we can predict right that is the regression line when we have drawn the line on the previous example that is the line which is here let me show you what is this uh, let me first run all these above cells and third and now fourth so let's see this price which we have predicted these are the predicted values right now let's calculate the residual errors so which we have seen that this is the actual price and this is the predicted price so in the example we have seen that this these points are the actual price right these points and this is the regression line or we can say the predicted price so when we calculate the distance and that is known as the error or that is the residual so that is exactly what we are doing here and for that we have a simple python function that is uh, np.std and with that we can calculate the uh, standard deviation let me show you that okay we have to first run this residual so let's run okay the standard deviation is uh, 6928 right now we can calculate the upper and lower bands that is the two standard deviation so for that let me run this and now we can plot this scatter plot of the day index versus a uh, close and the regression line so let's run this code these old codes we have already understood very thoroughly you can refer previous videos and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments uh, we can again discuss right so i'll just run this so we know that these are the actual the live prices right these all are the drops the blue dots and this red line is the predicted price which we have used uh, the linear regression and from that we have found this right so to calculate the errors we will find the distance from this actual to uh, predicted points and this is also known as the residual okay now let's plot the closing price regression line and the standard deviation bands so let, let me run this code again and you can see that the price mostly is between the two standard deviation and you can even see here that it was reverted from the exact two standard deviation point right it was shooted a little bit above the deviation but it always tried to revert to its mean which is this one right the regression line here so hopefully it is clear it was just a simple example but in the upcoming videos we will build so many advanced strategies with the help of regression and you will see that how useful it is in the next video we will discuss the maths behind this regression and then we'll explore more things on this so for this video this was it and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day